Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every week. And remember, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. So before we get into some Major League Baseball action for May the 23rd, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the uh, VIP Club section here, which has all of the wonderful tools to help you make your picks. So as we're a quarter of the way through the Major League Baseball season, the division races are already starting to heat up, so let's take a look at some of the action for Sunday, May the 23rd. Scroll down through here. Baltimore, Washington. The first game we want to look at here is Boston at Philadelphia. Boston comes in at the top of the American League East, and the Phillies are second in the National League East. The Phillies, if you look here at the power rankings indicator, have a plus 17 to plus 11 advantage there. The Phillies are ice cold down at the moment. They have lost their last game, and they have lost four out of their last six. The Red Sox are average down at the moment. They won their last game against uh, Toronto before previously losing two and then winning three before that, so they are four and two over the last six. Head to head match of the two teams have not met yet this season. You see, last year they, they played each other four times with the team splitting at two and two. If you're considering the over and under for this game, you see the Red Sox are playing in games trending under the line, quite a bit under the line, and the Phillies are as well. So that would indicate to bet the under, right? Well, let's take a look at the, at the scores predictor, and this also gives an indication, although the confidence in the prediction is only 43%, it is for a prediction of Boston 6, Philadelphia 1, which is a lower scoring game, so I would bet the under on this one. As far as the prediction, I do believe that Boston has the edge and they will win the game, but I feel like the Phillies will be closer than the 6-1 to one margin that the score prediction is indicating. Chicago White Sox and New York Yankees. Tampa Bay and Toronto. This is probably one of the best games of the day. In the tight American League East, the Rays and the Blue Jays conclude the weekend series. Entering the series, the Blue Jays won the first two teams, the first few, first two games between the teams. You see here two out of three, uh, April 23rd through April 25th, and they won on the road by one nothing and 5-3 to three scores, and they lost 5-3. to three. So you can see low, lower scoring and uh, close scoring games in all three of them. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see that Tampa Bay has a plus 29 to plus 26 edge. Both teams near the top of the league in that category. And both teams are burning hot at the moment. You can see, see Tampa Bay, winners of their last six. Although Toronto lost their last game to Boston, they have won four out of their last six games. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see Tampa Bay playing in games trending slightly above the line, and Toronto playing in games slightly under the line, so this is probably a good indication to avoid betting the over and under. If you look at the score predictions, it is not much of a surprise that this, the margin is very close, as close as it can get. Tampa Bay 5, Toronto 4, with confidence in prediction at 72.39%. And I believe this is a good indication Tampa Bay is, I believe, a slightly better team. Toronto doesn't really have a home field advantage because they're not playing up in Toronto. I give the game to Tampa Bay in a tight contest. Milwaukee and Cincinnati. Minnesota and Cleveland. So lots of games. Pittsburgh Pirates and the Atlanta Braves. This is the next one we want to look at. The Pirates are bringing up the rear in the National League Central, and the Braves are in the middle of the pack in the National League East. You can see the Pirates are ice cold down at the moment, and they have lost their last three, and they're two and four over the last six. The Braves are average up at the moment. They won their last game, breaking a three-game losing streak, and they are three and three over their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see both teams near the bottom. Atlanta at plus seven, and look at Pittsburgh. They have to drop from... Plus 27, just a week ago, all the way down to plus 8. You Considering the over and under in this game, you can see that the Pirates are playing in games trending under the line, as is Atlanta. So that would be a good indication to bet the under on this one. The scores predictor also indicates such. Atlanta 4, Pittsburgh 1 with confidence in prediction of 63%. Let's take a look at the pitching matchup. It's JT Brubaker for the Pirates. He is... 
three and three with a 3.27 ERA. And Max Fried going for the Braves. You can see he is one and two with a 5.46 ERA. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see who the better bet has been. Right here, you can see Brew Baker is at minus $276. He has been a poor bet, but overall, look at Fried. You know his ERA is high. He's been excellent bet at plus $1,883. Go with the Braves to win in this one. Tigers and Royals. Astros and Rangers. That should be a good game also. American League West battle. Dodgers and Giants. This is the next game we want to look at. It is the Oakland A's and the Los Angeles Angels. In this American League West battle, the first place Athletics face the fourth place Angels. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see that Oakland has a plus 25 to plus 3 advantage in that category. And look how far the Angels have fallen. From plus 20 down to plus 3 in just a matter of what? How many days has that been? Just a matter of, you know, just a couple of days. In fact, just one day. In one day, they just dropped all that distance. And why did that happen? Well, if you look at the Angels, they are ice cold down at the moment. They have lost their last two, and they have lost four out of their last six. The A's, on the other hand, are burning hot down. They lost their last game, but they won three of their previous four. If you're considering the over and under, you see that Oakland is playing in games trending slightly under the line. The Angels also under the line. A good indication to bet the under, correct? Well, maybe not. Look at the score predictor here. The score prediction is Oakland 10, Los Angeles Angels 6, with a confidence in prediction at 71.4%. So which way do we go? Well, I'm going to tend to go with the score prediction with a pretty good level of confidence. Now, if that confidence was like 50% or lower, like a toss of a coin, I would not go with that. But now I'm going to go with the A's. I'm going to go with the A's. I'm going to go with the over. And I think the A's will win and cover the spread. Seattle and San Diego, just to show you the rest of the games for this week. Here are the Cubs and the Cardinals. That's another good game. This is the last one we want to take a look at. The top two teams in the National League Central battle for the first time in 2021. The Cubs are average up at the moment. They lost their last game, but they have won four out of their last six. The Cardinals are average. They have won their last two, breaking a three-game losing streak to the tough San Diego Padres in San Diego. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that the Cubs have a plus 24 to plus 14 edge in that category, although the Cardinals have jumped from plus 3 to plus 14 in just a matter of one day. If you're considering the over and under, the Cubs have been playing in games trending under the line, and so have the Cardinals. The pitching matchups have not yet been named for this game, as it has been the case for most of them. It's going to take a little while. Maybe in the next day or two, you can, you can check back here and take a look at the uh, potential pitching matchups. Okay, so we're going to take a look here at the scores predictor then. If we look at the scores prediction, the scores prediction is the Cubs 6 and the Cardinals 4. But you see the confidence in the prediction is only 47%, so just barely better than the toss of a coin. You can see under for the Cubs, under for the Cardinals, so betting the under is a smart play in this one. Although 6-4, to four, 10, you have to check to see what the over-under line is going to be. Like right now, 10 is like right around the middle, so take a close look at that. I'd say that if the score is going to be 10, that's probably going to be an over. But again, check back to see what the lines are is going to be for this game. But I think that the Cardinals have the better team. They are playing at home. I think the Cardinals will come out and win the game. So there you have it. Those are the matchups for May 23rd in Major League Baseball. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.